I'm Adil Kumar and in this video I'll discuss how to find limit of trigonometric function which could be factored and then solved. The question here is to evaluate limit when x approaches pi by 6 for 2 sin squared x plus sin x minus 1 divided by 2 sin squared x minus 3 sin x plus 1. Now if you substitute x equals to pi by 6 in this equation you will get the value as 0 over 0 right so you can do this calculation check for yourself so that is indeterminate form that is to say we are unable to determine the value of this limit by direct substitution so it could be 0 it could be infinity it could be anything uh, so because divide by 0 is not defined but that also indicates that there is a common factor in numerator and denominator. So instead of getting into the calculations and showing you this is 0 over 0, I'll actually find the common factor in both numerator and denominator just to prove that it was 0 over 0. Okay, so that's an alternate approach. Correct. So we'll apply normal factoring techniques to factor both numerator and denominator. So let's rewrite this function we need to find limit x approaches pi by 6 2 sine square x now 2 times minus 1 is minus 2 we have to get some as plus x so that means what we could do is we could write sine x as 2 sine x minus 1 so that is how i split the sine x uh, i mean sorry minus sine x and then minus 1. So 2 sin x minus sin x is sin x. Similarly for denominator, uh, we have 2 sin square x minus. We need to get minus 3, sum of plus 2 as a product. So the two numbers should be minus 2 sin x and minus sin x, correct? So minus 3 sin x is being written as minus 2 sin x minus sin x plus 1. Correct. So that is how we wrote the center term. So center term minus 3 sin x has been written as this. So that helps in factoring. Correct. From the numerator, we wrote sin x as 2 sin x minus sin x. So that gives us limit x approaches pi by 6. So we can take common factors from the first two, which is 2 sin x, 2 sin x. We have sin x plus 1 minus. So nothing is common. We'll take 1 as common. So we get sin x plus 1 divided by. Here 2 sin x is common. So we can write this as sin x minus 1. Now here we have minus common so we'll let minus and i'm sorry this bracket is not there i mean oh we are in denominator okay right so when you take minus common we have sin x minus one okay now sin x minus one is common in denominator sin x plus one is common in the numerator so we could write this as limit x approaches pi by six sin x plus one 2 sin x minus 1 and here we have sin x minus 1 common right? so we have sin x minus 1 times 2 sin x minus 1 do you see that now this 2 sin x minus 1 is a common factor which is not being cancelled correct as you know sin pi by 6 is how much sine pi by 6 is half correct so if you substitute half here half times 2 is 1 1 minus 1 is 0 1 minus so 0 divided by 0 so that factor so that was making 2 sine pi by 6 minus 1 as 2 times half minus 1 as 0 do you see that so that was the zeros of both numerator and denominator which got cancelled off with this factor 
and now we can substitute pi by 6 and get the limit for the given function. So we can write this as sine pi by 6 plus 1 divided by sine pi by 6 minus 1, right? Sine pi by 6 is half. So we get half plus 1 divided by half minus 1. So we can take two common denominator. 1 plus 2 divided by 2. Here we have 1 minus 2 divided by 2. These two cancels. So we have 3 over minus 1 or minus 3. Correct? So therefore, this limit is equals to minus 3. So that is how we can get the solution of the given question. I hope that helps. So factoring is a very important technique to simplify the trigonometric expression and then find limit as we have seen in this particular video. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.